Hi guys! Welcome sa SIP9. In this video, ay itutuloy natin yung series natin on mixture word problem. No? So, kung sinusundan nyo itong series na to sa previous video ay pinag-aralan natin kung paano ba mag-solve ng mixture problem kung saan um, nag-a-add tayo ng pure water. No? So, in this video, kabalik tara naman siya, magbabawas naman tayo ng pure water and we do that by evaporation. No? Basahin natin yung ating problem. Uh, how much water should be evaporated from 20 gallons of 30% salt solution to make it a 45% salt solution? So by now, kung sinusundan nyo itong series, siguro alam nyo, alam nyo na yung paano ba mag-solve, no? Paano mag-set up nung uh, table? So yung una nating solution ay 20 gallons, no? Yan yung original solution natin. 20 gallons na 30% yung concentration, no? And magbabawas tayo ng tubig, no? Uh, this is water, yung B. And since hindi natin alam how much water, di ba? Hindi natin alam. Pag yun yung tanong, di ba? So we put X, no? And ilan yung ano nyan? Concentration pag water. Pag water, wala siyang, alcohol, ay, wala siyang salt, no? Hindi alcohol. Ang alcohol was uh, from the previous uh, video, no? So, wala siyang salt yung water na, na sinasabi niyang ibabawas, no? Must be evaporated. So, ibig sabihin, 0% ito. Wala siyang salt. And yung remaining, no? Di ba magbabawas tayo? Mag-evaporate tayo. So, yung remaining would be, halimbawa, nag-evaporate tayo ng 3 gallons of water. So, 20 minus 3, di ba? 17. Ibig sabihin, pag x gallons, ma-minus natin whatever the value of x. So, 20 minus x. Tapos, magiging 45% na siya. It makes sense kasi, di ba, pag nagbawas ka ng, pag nagbawas ka ng, ano, ng tubig, ng pure water, syempre, mas aalat yun kasi mas maraming salt, mas konting tubig, no? So, pag mas konti yung tubig, mas tataas yung percentage ng salt, no? Although, hindi nagbabago yung amount, pero, Dahil konti na yung tubig, mas mataas na yung percentage niya. No? So, how do we get the amount of pure salt? Paano makukunin na 20 gallons, 30% concentration? Ibig sabihin, 30% yung salt niya, di ba? So, ibig sabihin, 30% of 20. So, 0 0.3, 0 0.30 times 20. 0 0.3 or 0.30, di ba? Tapos yung... Uh, yung concentration sa water zero naman siya di ba so wala naman talagang amount of pure salt is zero wala namang pure salt ang water and eto yung amount of pure salt sa concentration sa remaining ay 0.45 multiply din natin kasi multiply natin to di ba 0.45 times 20 minus x okay so, paano ngayon to? Yung may amount of pure salt tayo sa original, tapos may amount of pure salt tayo sa uh, water, tapos may amount of pure salt tayo sa remaining. Ano masasabi natin dyan? Yung original minus, kung may babawas ka, the original amount of salt, tapos yung babawasin mo na amount of salt is equal to the remaining amount of salt. Diba yun yun? Ibig sabihin, this equation, uh, this expression minus this expression equals this expression. Meaning, 0.30 times 20 minus 0 no, equals 0.45 times 20 minus x. Okay? Remember, amount of, ano ito, no? Amount of pure salt. And 0.30 times 20, kung nahirapan kayo sa decimal, Oh, tanggalin nyo yung decimal point by multiplying both sides of the equation by by 100, no? Para, pag nag-multiply ka ng 100, diba, yung dalawang, yung decimal point natin, pumupunta sa kanan ng twice, diba? So, times 100, pag times 1,000, thrice, tatlong beses. Okay? Anyway, simplify muna natin to Dahil 0 naman to pwede natin ilagay na 0.30 times 20 equals 0.45 times 20 minus x. 
Multiplying both sides by 100, magiging 30 na ito, di ba? 100 times 0.30 times 20 equals 100 times 0.45 times 20 minus x. So magiging 100 times 0.30 is 30 times 20 equals 45. 100 times 0.45 is 45. You, know? you move the decimal point to the right twice times 20 minus x. So, magiging 600 equals, this is 900, 45 times 20 is 900 minus 45. Okay? So, x ito. So, ibig sabihin, 45x equals 900 minus, oh, baka malito kayo, minus 900 na lang natin both sides. 600 minus 900 equals negative 45x. So, tinanggal ko yung 900 dito kasi nag-minus ka ng 900 dito. Diba? Equation naman yan. So, negative 300 equals 45, negative 45x. So, x is equal to, this is negative, diba? Negative 45x. So, negative 300 over negative 45 which means that x is equal to ano sagot dyan calculator nga natin wala na akong energy mag multiply no I'm too tired so 300 o oh, mag divide 300 divided by 45 that's 6 and 2 thirds so x x is equal to 6 and 2 thirds. Ano ibig sabihin nito? Ibig sabihin, ay magbabawas ka ng 6 and 2 thirds na na tubig na pure water para yung, mat, yung matitirang uh, solution ay 45% salt na siya. Okay, so that's it. Sana ay may natutunan kayo dito sa video. Uh, abangan nyo kasi we, we will still have Maybe, maybe two or three videos dito sa ating series. No? So, matatapos na rin ito. This is, I think this is the ninth video in the series. Okay? Gusto ko kayong invite sa sitnayan.com yung website natin. At syempre sa ating YouTube channel. Kung hindi pa kayo nakasubscribe, ay magsubscribe na kayo kasi marami pa tayong i-upload na videos. No? Maraming salamat. I'll see you in the next video.